Well, good afternoon and welcome to Music at the Mint, brought to you by the Jazz Foundation of America in conjunction with the Jazz Museum right here in downtown New Orleans. Thank you so much for coming to join us today. We're uh, streaming with the help of our uh, support from the uh, Offbeat Publications and the Louisiana Music Factory uh, streaming on their sites. And we, uh, we do this every Wednesday, and we'd love you to tune in and uh, see the best jazz we can present here in New Orleans, Louisiana. So uh, today, we are so pleased and proud to have the Chartreuse of New Orleans jazz. Jermaine Basil is going to be coming up and uh, doing her thing. That's right, what she loves to do. She's been doing for a long time, and we just, just can't get enough of her. I want to give you just a moment of uh, information on the Jazz Museum of, or the Jazz Foundation of America uh, that brings us on. Uh, they have been constantly supporting New Orleans musicians since Katrina. Uh, many years ago, they started helping musicians in many different ways in New York and then have been here from Katrina all the way to Hurricane Ida, uh, providing help in legal services, housing, and uh, gigs like this one today. So uh, we want uh, to thank them, and we'd like you to, if you can afford it, go up on their website, jazzfoundation.org, and make a donation if you can. Thank you so much. Today, we have quite the powerhouse behind Jermaine, the A-team in modern jazz in New Orleans. Give it up. Yes! <laughs> on the boom, boom drums, that's right, the mighty, mighty Herlin Riley. <laughs> on the bass, we have Peter Harris. Look at that, we have Roderick Pollen on the saxophone. The chairman of the UNO Jazz Studies Program. Give it up for Steve Mazakowski on guitar. And the maestro. Uh, Jermaine's music director and her record producer. Give it up for the Silver Fox, Mr. Larry Siebert. They will uh, rouse you at one tune before Jermaine comes up. Thank you so much.
Give it up for the band. And let's bring up our superstar tonight. She has been a joy to so many people for so many years in her live performances and her many years in music education. And uh, we're going to be celebrating her 90th birthday at the end of next month over at the Snug Harbor. What a blessing that we've been able to have you for so long, and we're looking to another 90 years. All right? Please welcome Jermaine Basil. so much. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh my God. Almost. Oh, okay. It's in the key of uh, F. Yeah. It starts on the key.
like a bell that is ringing for me. And from the way that I feel when the bell starts to peal, I swear I'm falling, declare I'm falling. Shut up and deep, deep, do it. Shut up and deep, 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 go away. Shut up. Ching, ching. night for someone exactly like you why should we spend money on a show or two nobody does those love scenes exactly like you you make me feel so great I want to end the world to you. You seem to understand each foolish little scheme I'm scheming, dream I'm dreaming. Now I know why mama taught me to be true. She meant me for someone exactly like you
So very much. Okay. The whole world smiles with you when you're laughing. When you're laughing, the sun goes shining through. But when you I didn't know, no, no, no. 
Y'all act like y'all like that. Now, what do y'all think when y'all fear, when y'all hear something like that? What y'all think about? This kind of makes it go back in your mind. You think about similar tunes like, uh, Thank you so very much, ladies and gentlemen. You have to understand what's happening up here, for me anyway. You know, working up here, oh, well, I'm not working. We're we playing, we're making music. You know. And I am so very blessed to have this opportunity to work with these guys. But they were not working. You see, we were playing. Mm -hmm. you, you get your money without her. <laughs> yeah, but I, I uh, feel that I have to say to you uh, that what you see here, what you hear here, is a lot of respect. You know, we respect, you know, I have great respect for these gentlemen up here on this bandstand. You guys have no idea how much I have learned from working with you and listening to you and laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And that, you know, that's nice because we, we don't have time to argue, you know? And I'm, I'm humbled by these many years of experience, um, which I had nothing to do with. I was just pulled out and said, go, 
and I've been here for all these years. You know, am I supposed to take time to say this? Oh, okay. Now, I just wanted to say that um, some of you may know and some of you may not know, but the way I got involved with this kind of thing was by being a bass player. Okay? And uh, I was taught to play bass when I was about, what, 14 years old. My piano teacher decided that I should learn to play the bass. So I had her for p piano and for bass. And we played, we had an orchestra at Xavier University in the Junior School of Music. And uh, we had an orchestra and she needed bass players, so she selected me and two other young ladies uh, to teach bass to. Well, I was the only one that stayed because my mother had a lot to do with that. You know, the other ladies decided that they wouldn't. However, that was the thing um, that played a big part in my um, getting in, into this kind of thing because I was a classroom teacher and the band director was in college the same time I was, but he was a senior, somebody like that. Anyway, he came back uh, and he took the job as a band director and that was a relief for me, okay. But then they needed, the, a group that he was working with needed a bass player and he asked me, you know, do you still play the bass? I said, no, because I don't own one. He says, well, you want a gig? I said, yes. He says, well, I'll get you one. To come to find out, I uh, played, the bass of the, played the bass of the man who had passed on, you know. So I said, okay, so when do you rehearse? They say, we don't rehearse, okay? <laughs> we don't rehearse, you know. Now we might have some changes for you, but I tell you that was the biggest education, the biggest introduction to education on the bandstand. And from that time on, I always refer to this as a classroom because you, you always learn something, you know, what to do or what not to do, you know. So anyway, I'm at this point now where I realize how blessed I am to have had this opportunity to work and not even apply for a job. Isn't that wonderful? You know, get a phone call, you know, yes. And so it's been fun. So gentlemen, let me personally say to you how much I appreciate you, you know, how much I love you, and how much, how much, how much, how much I am blessed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I didn't plan to say that, y'all. I don't know where that came from. What good is melody? What good is music? If it ain't possessing something sweet, it ain't the melody, it ain't the music. There's something else that makes this tune. Don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Do I, 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 do I? It don't mean a thing. All you gotta do is sing. Do I, 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 do I? It makes no difference if it's sweet or high. Just give that rhythm everything you got. It don't mean a thing.
Take 